so if taking your bare face to the gym has always been a struggle and probably made you not go to the gym this video is definitely for you hi this is fitness freak welcome to my channel and with me here is adama kenneth hi a makeup artist extraordinaire world class renowned also subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload new videos zika as i like to call you um would love to hear what you have to say to us today and um i am excited can you tell us a bit about yourself hi guys um my name is adama i am the creative director adama kenneth beauty i am a full-time makeup artist i have been doing makeup for a little over four years professionally let me give you a brief background about how this video came to be so adama has been my friend for many many yeah. years and she went to my channel and she was scrolling through and then she was like would you i can't see any videos on how to slay or something like that and i was like ding <laughs> light bulb moment so i said to her okay i think we should do a video so behold here we are today what are the steps we need to take to you know look <coughs> good <laughs> you want to use products that are sweat proof because you're going to be sweating a lot i don't sweat a lot especially on my face i, mean, so, I have oily skin so that's probably my you know yes my own your but blessing I don't, yeah okay yeah. of course sorry well <laughs> <laughs> what's the first Okay, step now. The oh. first step when you want to apply makeup for the gym is to do your brows. Now, brows shape the face. If you have full brows, what you need to do is just comb out your hairs with a sweat proof brow gel, and that will just keep the brows in place. But if you have sparse brows, you want to use brow pencil or a brow pomade. Brow pomades actually are more long lasting and they can withstand sweat and then use. A brow gel to just set it. When we're done with that, what else do you need to do? After you're done with your brows, the next thing you want to do is to apply your eye cream. A brightening eye cream, if you have, or just any bright cream actually. You can apply it right under and then on top as well and then to the side. Because when you just wake up, your eyes might have like those under bags. Does it help with the eye bags when you just wake up? To lift that tired look of you know just oh, yes. okay. yeah just waking up from sleep. I'm going to be giving like recommendations for people that have blemished skin and people that have really clear skin. So if you have really clear skin, to be honest, you don't have to do so much. If you use your under eye cream, you can go in with under eye concealer if you feel the need to. But if you don't have like any under eye dark circles, you don't have to do that. You can just use a liquid illuminator you can mix that into a primer and just apply it like you would apply moisturizer these illuminators actually come in shape as well okay. so it will give it that really beautiful glow and still give it a little tint if that makes sense but then it's like a glowy tint okay. but if you have skin like mine that has hyperpigmentation all over <laughs> you want to it. You I don't to... see any hyperpigmentation. Alright, cool. Why would you diagnose yourself or something? Diagnose? <laughs> is it am I, am I dying? I don't know. Once you use a concealer that is a shade lighter, if you want the under eye to be more awake or, you know, brighter. So you put that but, like on the brightening cream. Yes, just on top of it. When you're going to the gym, you want to keep it as soft as possible. You want to apply the concealer on places where you have blemishes only like maybe applying the concealer only on spots where yeah. you feel you need to that's a good one yeah that would really and help quick and, and then yeah still on people that have blemishes you you can use a bb cream if you feel like just putting the concealer on the spots isn't working for you it's really lightweight so mm -hmm. it's not as heavy duty as a typical a normal foundation. Yeah, foundation so you can use a bb okay. cream on your face and then that would give you more coverage than just using 
concealers on spots all right so after that is applied is that all you would recommend for someone with this skin? okay so after you have applied this <laughs> you want to set it with powder the truth is if you do use concealer under your eyes you want to set that powder for sure so that it doesn't crease for people that probably use the bb cream and all of that you want to go extra you can use the bronzer you know to just shape your face since you apply concealer on your eyes you can use a highlighter like a, a glow product on the apples of your cheeks would you recommend that for the cheeks? To be honest, it just depends on how extra you are. If yeah. if you are like me, I will do that and more. Oh. <laughs> Next thing is your lashes. You can actually skip this step, but the truth is, wearing lashes to the gym, in my opinion, is better than doing mascara. If anything runs the quickest, it is mascara and black liner. If you want to be ex Extra extra, 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 extra. You might want to do eyeshadow. I prefer to do matte shadows because shimmer. I don't know. Just if you wouldn't it. recommend it, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it. You're the pro. <laughs> you know that one color where you can just apply it all over the eyes and you're fine. Probably like a brown or a plum. Mm -hmm. So something very easy. Like yeah, something neutral. Yeah, something neutral. Just the lips left. For the lips, of course, nothing deep. Clear lip gloss if you have cute pink lips. If you don't, pink lip gloss <laughs> or just a lip balm, you know, just something that's cute. This brings us to the last step. And this is the most important step to wash your face immediately you get out of the gym. What's the maximum time you do? For me, I'll say an hour. Wow, your pores cannot be clogged. I don't think so. For people that stay in the gym longer, once you're out, just literally go into the bathroom, have a shower, and wash, wash off all your makeup. Yeah. So this will help you still slay and still have good skin. Adama, thank you so much for these tips you shared. Thank you. For Please check out Adama's Instagram account. It's um, at Adama Kenneth. The link will be in the description below. And for questions, Adama, how do you suggest the same questions to you? And yeah, leave sure. it in the comment section. And yeah, I'll, 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 okay. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media channels. Make sure you don't miss any uploads from Fitness Food Channel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I know how passionate you I am. is about all things fitness. Fit and it. It's not just you guys. She's trying to get everybody around her to be. As part really of the fitness freak community. So shout out to fellow fitness freak community people. Hey, hey, Jennifer, help us do cosplay. Jennifer, Jennifer.